1.4 Working with Radicals Entire radicals look like the root 50. Basically, what that means is the entire number is under the radical sign. There is no number outside and the entire number is under the radical sign. So this is your radical sign and this is the number that's underneath. And you would say this or describe this as root 50. Now, an entire radical can be reduced to something called a mixed radical. For example, root 50 can be reduced to 5 root 2. A mixed radical contains a number, a mix of a, a whole number, and a radical. How would, now, the question is, how does root 50 become 5 root 2? Well, entire radicals can be simplified to a mixed radical. Let's look at some examples that involve this. Example 1. Simplify each, so for example, root 50. To simplify root 50 to a mixed radical, what you do is find out what factors of 50 are perfect squares. That is, what number can be divided into 50 that I can take the square root of nicely? Well, that would be 25. 25 times 2 is equal to 50. But 25 is a special type of radical known as a perfect square, where you can take the square root of 25, which gives you 5 root 2. So what we've done is show, I've just shown you how that entire radical can become a mixed radical by simplifying. Next example, root 98, root 72, root 63. One more time, what is the steps in a, uh, so that you are able to simplify each radical? Step number one is to find a perfect square factor basically a number that can be divided by a perfect square that can be divided by the number found under the radical sign. You need to know all the perfect squares from 1 squared all the way up to 30 squared. Let's go over what they are in a little bit. Step number two is we will simplify the perfect square root so in this case, in this example, the perfect square root is the square root of 25, which we simplify to 5, and then we have root 2 underneath. So all the perfect squares from 1 squared to 30 squared are as follows. 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25, 6 squared is 36, 7 squared is 49, 8 squared is 64, 9 squared is 81, 10 squared is 100. Now the next ones, 11 squared is 121, 12 squared is 144, 13 squared is 169, 14 squared is 196, 15 squared is 225, 16 squared is 256, 17 squared is 289, 18 squared is 324, 19 squared is 361, and 20 squared is 400. Now let's go up to 30 squared. 21 squared is 441, 22 squared is 484, 23 squared is 529, 24 squared is 576, 25 squared is 625, 27 squared is 676, sorry, 26 squared is 676, 26 squared is 676, 27 squared is 729, 28 squared is 784, 29 squared is 841, and 30 squared is 900. 
So these are all the perfect squares from 1 squared all the way up to 30 squared. Now, looking back up here at the question, root 98, we need to find one of these numbers that is a perfect square factor of 98 so that we can bring it out and change root 98 to a mixed radical. Well, root 98 is the breakup of 49 times 2. S square root of 49 is 7. So you're left with root 2 on the inside. Seven. So root 98 converts to 7 root 2. Let's look at the next one, root 72. Some of you might be thinking that 9 is the number that we want to be able to do. And folks, 9 is a good one, but not the best one. The largest perfect square that will go into root 72 is 36. 36 times 2, in fact. Square root of 36 is 6, and we're left with root 2. Finally, the last one, root 63, can be converted to 9 times 7. Root 9 is the answer 3. We're left with root 7 on the bottom. All right, example number 2. Convert each to an entire radical. So we're converting from a mix to an entire radical. 7 root 3, 12 root 2, 10 root 5. 7 root 3, you would bring the 7 back inside, and that will be 49 times 3. 49 times 3 will give you root 147. So, again, you bring the 7 on the inside, so you square it, bringing back inside. It becomes 49. 49 times 3 gives you root 147. Next, 12 root 2. Bring the 12 on the inside, you get root 144 times 2. That will give you an answer of root 288. 10 root 5, bring the 10 on the inside, that gives you root 100 times 5, and the result will be root 500. So each of these have now been converted to entire radicals. Moving on. Like radicals can be combined through addition and subtraction. Example, 8 root 6 plus 2 root 6 minus 4 root 6 will result in the answer, let's see, you have 8 root 6s plus 2 root 6s and you subtract 4 root 6s. Well, the result will be 6 root 6. So like radicals are kind of like you treat them like they were variables, like the variable x. And you take 8 root 6s plus 2 root 6s, that will give you 10 root 6. And then when you subtract 4 root 6, that will give you 6 root 6. Another example, oh, before we forget, remember that you keep the same root. The roots themselves don't get added or subtracted. It's their whole number in front. Radicals can also be multiplied using the distributive property. For example, 4 root 3 times 3 root 2 minus 3 and root 3 minus 2 times root 3 plus 4. For the first one, we take 4 root 3 and we multiply it to each piece. That is 4 root 3 times 3 root 2 is 12 root 6. And 4 root 3 times minus 3 is minus 4, sorry, minus 12 root 3. The reason why it's minus 12 root 3 is 4 and 3 are outside numbers. The root 3 stays underneath the root. So you have 12 root 3. Now what happens when you multiply roots by roots? Well, let's look at the next example. Root 3 times root 3 is going to be root 9. Root 3 times 4 is plus 4 root 3. Minus 2 times root 3 is minus 2 root 3. And minus 2 times plus 4 is minus 8. Now I want you to notice something. 
When I expand all of these, I'm using the colors to represent what happened. So we'll just go through it one more time, this each step. So root 3 times root 3 gave you root 9. Root 3 times plus 4 gave you plus 4 root 3. Minus 2 root 3 gave you minus 2 root 3. And minus 2 times plus 4 gave you minus 8. But I want you to notice that root 9 could have automatically been reduced. That is, root 9 could have been reduced to 3. By reducing it to 3, we can do 3 minus 8, which is negative 5, plus 2 root 3 because we're going to combine these two to give us 2 root 3, and 3 minus 8 will give us negative 5. Okay, moving on. Let's look at another example. Example 3. Simplify the following. 5 root 12 plus 3 root 48 minus 5 root 27. How do we simplify something like this? Well, first thing we do is we can see that there are no like radicals, so what we need to do is reduce these radicals. We should do that first. Simplify each radical, individual radical, before we do anything else. That is, root 12 can be broken up into 4 times 3. Folks, I do not want you to simplify root 12 immediately. I want you to show me this step. The reason you're showing me this step is you are showing me how it breaks down. Next part, plus 3 root 48, 48 is broken up into 16 times 3. 48 can be broken up to 16 times 3. Minus 5 times in, bra in under the root sign. For 27, that can be broken up to 9 times 3. What we do now is we take this and take the square root of this, which is 2, and multiply it to the outside number, because root 4 now becomes an outside number. 5 times 2 is 10. How did I get 2? Remember, square root of 4 is 2. 2 times 5 is 10. 10 root 3. Plus, square root of 16 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12 and we're left with root 3 on the inside. Square root of 9 is 3. 3 times 5 is 15. So we have minus 15 root 3. Now all we have all of these simplified, and these turn out to be like radicals. So 10, plus 12, uh, 10 root 3 plus 12 root 3 minus 15 root 3 will give us 7 root 3 as our final. So I, once again, we simplify, so we collect the like radicals to get the answer. Let's look at the next example. Looking at this right away, we can see that it is not a double set of brackets, but this minus root 32 is being multiplied into this bracket, not the root 8, because it is not next to the bracket, and it is not part of another set of brackets. So root 8 can be broken up to 4 times 2, Root 32, I recommend that you break that one up to 16 times 2. Let's break it up to make it easier when we need to multiply. 2 root 3 minus 2 remains in brackets. So root 8 reduces itself to 2 root 2. And root 32 breaks itself up to 4 root 2 times 2 root 3 minus 2. Now some of you might be trying to put these two together. Don't do that because this is attached to this set of brackets. Bed mass rules continuously apply. So that means that now minus 4 root 2 has to be multiplied to each of these first before we can collect like terms. 2 root 2 remains where it is and minus 4 root 2 times 2 root 3 is minus 8 root 6 and minus 4 root 2 times negative 2 is plus 8 root 2. What will that result in? Well the root 2's will combine themselves to give you 10 root 2 and then you have minus 8 root 6. So this folks is the result of all of this work. 10 root 2 minus 8 root 6 is the simplification of this question. Moving on, one more. 
C. 5 minus root 2 all squared. And let's try D, where we have a double set of brackets. This, in fact, is going to be important later on in this course. This one here, let's do this first. To expand it, we show it as a double set of brackets. And we expand it using our FOIL concepts in distributing the values. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times minus 2 root 2 is minus 10 root 2. Minus 2 root 2 times 5 is minus 10 root 2. And minus 2 root 2 times minus 2 root 2 is going to be plus 4 times root 4. And we all know that root 4 is going to be 4 times 2, which is 8. So one more time. You have 2 root 2 times 2 root 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Root 2 times root 2 is just 2. 4 times 2 is 8. Now we're going to simplify this. So 25 plus 8 is 33 minus 20 root 2. So 33 minus 20 root 2 is the result of this. Part D. Expanding it out, you get 4 times 3, which is 12, plus 10 root 3, minus 10 root 3, minus 25. How did I get 12 again? 2 times 2 is 4. Root 3 times root 3 is 3. 4 times 3 is 12. Well, when I simplify this, we will get an answer of negative 13. Interesting. We started off with roots, and our final answer is just an integer. Hmm. Well, folks, as I mentioned earlier, this will be very important in the future. So note this. All right, folks. Well, that's the end of the video. Have a numerical day.